Coach? First of all, credit to Marquette. It's just a, a tremendous team, incredibly well coached, um, and I thought we had a great game today. Uh, really proud of our student athletes and how they battled. Um, I thought um, that they were um, really, really focused on the scout. I thought they did a great job executing and, um, you know, a few things that we could have done uh, differently, but really proud of not only this game, but of the season and, um, and how hard they worked all season. Questions for the student athletes? <coughs> to the right, Christy. Uh, Christy Regan from the Associated Press. Erica, can you put your finger on what went wrong when y'all had the nine-point lead and then just couldn't seem to score for a long time? Yeah, um, I think just poise. Uh, it kind of got to us at the end uh, that we were up nine, you know. Uh, there are things that we could have executed better and um, we could have slowed the game down a little bit more at the end. Uh, I think a lot of the things that we messed up were in our hands. Um, and uh, we haven't had much experience. It's not an excuse, but we haven't had much experience in those uh, tight games like that. But we definitely practiced them, so I think we uh, definitely could have do better, done a better job to focus and stuff like that. But credit Marquette. They have excellent defense. Um, they're really hard to get by. Uh, but I think definitely poise was a thing we were missing towards the end. <clears throat> to the right. Hey, Erica, uh, can you talk a little bit more about just the, the pressure and the tempo that you guys were dealing with and maybe how you negotiated that throughout the game? Yeah, I think all in all we did a pretty good job uh, negotiating uh, their pressure and their tempo. At times it was fast-paced, was what they liked, and at times uh, we had pace, which is what we like in our offense. Uh, I think the, it was just a game of runs, and towards the end it definitely was their pace. Uh, it was really fast-paced at the end, and it took us a while to try to get it um, back into our type of pace. Um, but, yeah, that's, I think that's just here to the left front left Nancy the last time that y'all were playing in in this building you weren't on the court um, what's it like for your season to come full circle and to get one last chance and then um, how do you feel y'all lived up to the moment uh, I mean just came down to execution. I mean, it was fun playing out there finally with my teammates. And so, like, to finally play on the court in the NCAA tournament is a big deal. And so yeah. to finally say that I can do that with them, you know, it's like third luck's the charm. So I finally <laughs> got to play. Um, so, yeah, it's just – it's sad to see it come to an end. But just looking back on our season, we've accomplished a lot that not a lot of people thought would – that thought that we would accomplish, so – the right, Christy. Erica, I know it might be hard right now to think about it, but is it encouraging that y'all came got to the tournament, considering y'all have like a young team that it's going to return a lot of people next year? Yeah, it's definitely encouraging. Um, we're pretty young, so we learn every single day, um, uh, and we, I think there's just so much room for improvement. Uh, but I think we're a little hard on ourselves because we know our capabilities, uh, and we know that even though we're young, that's not an excuse. Uh, we're capable of doing a lot of things. So I think that's why maybe today's loss was a little more tough than someone outside looking in would really expect with such a young team. Here to the left. Uh, Erica, could you talk a little bit about your uh, defensive or the team's defensive strategy, especially on the perimeter, because Marquette's one of the top scoring teams in the country, I think number five offense, you guys held them to 58 points. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think all season we really tried to focus on defense, and it kind of showed in our statistics. Uh, we really pride ourselves on getting stops. And I think our goal is just to play old-fashioned defense, you know, guard the ball one-on-one, -on -one, have good help side, and uh, finish with a box out. And I think at times we did do that, and you can see that in the score. But then at times, crucial times, we also had our lapses. But I think we just tried to play Rice basketball and defensively today. Down front, left. And Erica, you mentioned poise as, as being something that kind of faltered down the stretch. During the first half, there were a lot of offensive fouls uh, being called, and the game was being officiated pretty tight. Uh, how did y'all think you responded in the difference in and how y'all came back at that point versus the end? Yeah, I think we responded pretty well. Um, kind of the first half, you just have to get a feel for the, how the game's going to be played, how the officials are going to officiate. Uh, so once I got those two offensive fouls, I don't think we really had another one in the game. Maybe we had one. But I think it's just definitely getting a feel. Uh, and once we realize, OK, you know, maybe I did do that, we definitely don't try to repeat errors into the second half. Anything else for student athletes? Ladies, thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. You. you bet. Absolutely. Thank you. Questions for Coach? To the right, Christy. 
Uh, Coach, we talked yesterday about um, their experience and the amount of seniors. Do you feel like that kind of played into it with her to uh, Erica talking about maybe poise was, was the problem with losing the big lead? I think we'll learn a lot from this. I think that we will um, look back on this game and um, when, when we have the opportunity to come back again, um, we will learn a lot from this. I think that group of players was really ready to play this game. And so, you know, I, I came from Maryland where Brenda used to say all the time, age is just a number. And, you know, she won a national championship with a pretty young team. And so I do believe in experience, but I also believe in preparation and hard work. And I think they did those things um, to put themselves, to put us in a position that um, we had a chance to win this game. Other questions for Coach? To the right, and then we'll come to the left. Hey, Tina, um, can you just talk about that overtime period and, and I guess what you thought of the shot selection? It looked like they were getting good shots. Obviously, they just weren't going in. What was going through Yeah, that? I thought, um, you know, again, if you look at the box score, I mean, points off turnovers, second chance points, I mean, that's that's part of the, the big part of this game. But um, when it came down to executing down the stretch, we were trying to get into handoff situations because we didn't feel that they had been guarded well. And um, we rushed a few things. Um, I think we, we lost a little bit of our patience. Um, in those moments where we had been patient earlier and waited later in the shot clock to, to make those decisions. So um, I thought that, um, that we could have done a better job of trying to get into the, the situation we wanted out of the set. Front left. And Coach, y'all, this is your first loss in 2019. Um, <laughs> what it, how is that? It's, it's a lot to process, but... What are you going to look back as your takeaways, not just from this game, but from what y'all accomplished this season? We have a great group of people. We have incredible kids. Um, when you look around the locker room, you just don't want to let them down. They work incredibly hard every day. Um, you know, it's rice, so they're working in the classroom, you know, 24-7 it feels like comes to the, come to the gym and, and put in a lot of hours and, and weightlifting and practice and and all the things that we do film. And um, they never complain. They just want to be better. And um, it, it's, a, it's a group of young women that will be future leaders. Um, and we're really proud of them. So I think that's the thing that I'll take away when I look back is we, we were blessed to be in the room with some, some women that are going to be incredible leaders one day. Third row, far left. Coach, if you can, um, at this today's game, representing what you – have planned on when you got the job. Now that you're here, what's now that the bar has been raised? Just talk about where you where you go from here. Yeah, I think that um, you know you look back and you can see a lot of things that we need to improve on, um, and that that comes down to us making sure we're more prepared. Um, you know, I know I could have done a lot of things differently down the stretch um, that could have helped them, and so um, we'll be more prepared um, in the future. Um, I think the future is very bright. As, uh, as you said earlier, someone said earlier, this is a very young team um, and really talented team. Uh, and so we know that we can continue to um, compete at this level uh, for a long time. Uh, for one or two more to the far right. Uh, piggybacking off of that question, can you talk a little bit about what this, this sort of experience uh, adds to this team going into next year? And you talked about how you felt Marquette maybe was really poised coming to this game. They were ready to win the game. How does this experience help your team? And, you know, I think you have four starters that are coming back next year. Well, I mean, obviously, anytime you have experience, you're going to learn from it. And um, we, uh, we will learn from this game. And I think it also gives you a little bit of hunger uh, when you've had the chance to be there. Um, you know, we talked about this uh, in the locker room, how we went from a team that had no postseason to WBI champions, to being in the NIT, to being in the NCAA. And it's just hard to skip steps in life. You know, sometimes you can have a, a special group of people that um, can take you a little farther than you anticipate. Um, but this group has, has fought, you know, tooth and nail to get better every season. And I anticipate that they will continue to do that um, for next season.